Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Deftown guys. So as in the previous video guys, I have told you how you can move the data from one worksheet to the another worksheet in the Excel. So guys, this would with this video would be a very interesting video. In this video, I will tell you about how you can insert a data between a row and column in a Excel worksheet. So guys, this is a very interesting and important video and I would like to tell you that please be watch this video till the end and if you have still not subscribed to our channel guys just press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you never miss any update from the dev town guys okay so now guys we will do a very simple thing here let us go on the top yeah perfect so guys suppose i want to add a column between the e and d so in the excel how i can do that so guys you just simply have to press on the t and then the right click and after the right click you will see a insert okay so you have to press on this insert okay guys as soon as you will press insert here see guys now the column has been added here okay in this empty column you can add any data which you want and apart from it you can also delete it i hope guys that this thing is very much clear to you how you can add the and insert the column and same this thing goes with the row okay suppose i want to add between them so how i can do that i will just follow the simple step the insert okay see now guys the this empty this row is present here and you can do the any operations here and apart from it if you want to shift it you can also sh like shift it okay do you want to replace it yes i want to replace it see guys okay and apart from it if you want to delete it you can also delete okay rows okay see see guys and the data will move in the upward directions guys i hope that this thing is very much clear how you can add the column or the rows in the excel let me show you within one another example in the another data okay suppose we have this data in this data i want to add a column so i will follow that step only insert wait a second see i am getting this okay and if i want to delete i will delete it guys it is very simple just practice once in your excel and everything will be very much clear okay guys I hope that this thing is clear if still there is any doubt you can definitely tell me in the chat box and a comment box okay guys thank you very much